My name is James Puccini and I've been a blockchain developer since 2017. In this video, I'm going to go through three tips for gas efficient Solidity smart contracts. So let's dive straight in. The low hanging fruit to make your smart contracts more efficient is to use the correct modifiers and declarations. If you're using a variable and it's not changing throughout the contract, you need to change that to a constant. If you're using a function that doesn't modify the state, the state variables, then mark that as a view function. If it doesn't actually read the state either, then that can be marked as a pure function. That's much more gas efficient. When a function consumes unbounded input data, such as arrays and strings, we need to set where that data will live. The cheapest version of this is call data, then memory, then storage. If you have a function like this and it's storing the data in storage, it's very rare that you actually need that. See if you can change it to memory or call data, so that you can actually reduce the executional cost of that function. The next tip is to plan and pack your state storage variables. Persistent state storage is the most expensive in terms of gas costs because that data has to be stored on the network. There's only so much data being stored on a peer-to-peer -peer network, so it's expensive to do that. We only store small amounts of data. Most variables are optimized for the standard 32 byte slot, that's 256 bits, which is why we use uint 256 such a lot in Solidity development. But we can actually store two uint 128 variables in that same storage slot to save space if we don't need the upper bounds of that numerical value. Here's an example where we're storing two uint 32s, a uint 64 and a uint 128 variable all within the same storage slot. So that's only actually taking up the same amount of data storage in persistent storage as a single uint 256 variable. One nice way that we can pack data in an efficient way is to use structs within our contract. These map out how we're going to store the data so we can use that to plan out our 32 byte slots so that we're packing our data efficiently into them slots in a defined way. Tip number three is to optimize the runtime cost if your contract's going to be used a lot. You can do this in any compiler. I'm going to do it in Remix here. There's also examples of here of how you can do it in Foundry and Hardhat. In Hardhat, for example, we go into hardhat.config.js, we set the optimizer enabled to true and then runs to a thousand. That means that the, the optimizer is going to compile the contract, expecting the contract to be executed with a thousand transactions over its lifetime. If we set this number to higher, it will create a contract which is more expensive to deploy, but less expensive to use transactionally. So if a code that's going to be run a lot by users, then we can set that value very high to optimize for transactional costs. And then for code that we might only run once for internal stuff, we might want to set that very low so that it's optimizing for deployment costs over the transactional cost of actually using the contract. If we go into Remix now, we've got a standard ERC1155 contract, and we can compile this in the compile tab. But today I'm going to go into advanced configuration and we can enable optimization. And again, we have this variable where we can set this to 20,000. We can expect that the contracts can be used 20,000 times. There's going to be 20,000 individual transactions over the lifetime of this contract. Obviously, this is only an estimate, but it gives the compiler something to aim for and something to kind of bear in mind when it's calculating how to optimize the bytecode for that contract. Once that's compiled, we can deploy it as normal. I hope you found this tutorial useful and it's provided some insights and quick wins with regards to gas efficient solidity smart contracts. If you're interested in DeFi and developer insights, then subscribe to the channel and please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for watching.